Hello everyone and welcome to uh, AR Arena channel. Uh, today about to make a quick sheet for uh, interior design of any project or any space that I need to do it in Revit and how I can use the Revit and uh, white feet add-ins in this program to create a quick sheet as an interior design for the elevation, ceiling and flooring for specific place and specific room in the rivet. So uh, let's start. So I have here the basic sample project, uh, the default in rivet, and we can use this uh, project to start to make one of any space in this building or this house as an ID drawing. So we will use uh, and this one add-ins white feet tools. Uh, you can download it from the website of the white feet. I will put the link down and um, unfortunately still until Revit 2022 it's not uh, upgraded to another version. So we will wait until to update this version but we can speak now about these tools in uh, 2020. So let's start and as we can see here, I have two levels and each level have this uh, room space, room area, hall, living and also in the second level. So uh, we will start to take an example of the kitchen and dining area and one of these bedrooms. So we'll go to the white feet and then we'll start to check view tools and the view tools I will start to create view from rooms in this case it will open for me the all the rooms that I have it in my uh, project and from here I can check what the view type I need to do for this room in case of the plan or click ceiling or if I can make 3d box 3d crop or 3d box and the crop in this case, we can use 3D box and the crop and the section size for this book as an automatic create for me, like a section box with the distance around the room. In this case, I need it almost around the room so we can make this as a one for now. And we can check the kitchen and dining area and one of the food room also. And we we'll start to make a view type as a plan and then start to create view now as i can see he start here in floor plans create for me two rooms 1z1 and 2z2 that i created and that one so as i can see now he has just already cut for me the space and give for me only the room that i walk in and also in that one he give for me all only the room. trying also to create another views for the also kitchen and the bedroom 202 create also the reflected ceiling and we can create the 3d box and crop to give me the 3d view So when I come back here in the ceiling, I can find now he create for me the ceiling plans for my two rooms and also in the if I go to the 3D view, I can find he create for me just close only the cutting and as I see now he create for me only 3D and make the section book quickly to the space. And if I back here also to this room, I see now he created for me the 3D crop of this room. But then in this case, because I have the up ceiling, I can just to create 
if I show my section box in this case and zoom into the area of my section box, I can get it from the open this reveal and yeah, from this section box, I can reduce a little bit. And in this case, I can see now my 3D of my room. I can shade it also. And this can be as a view of my room. Uh, also, uh, from this one, as a quick, if I can also give this one as a shaded and to create as a quick elevation for this spaces using my automatic section box that he created by this uh, tools. So I can duplicate the view. And from each one, I can go to directly see my elevation, but I can use, in this case, my section box for each view to can just cut for me the elevation that I need. For example, I want to see this elevation. So in this case, now this elevation it will be ready as a front. And do the same process for each elevation. So we can do it as a quickly and control any location of my elevation I want. For example, I want to get started from here. I don't need all these details. And then start to select left. Also, in case of I need to increase a little bit to see the slabs of my elevation, I can also control very easily from my section box and I think it will be this now a little bit more bit nice with detailing and also check the scaling what I need and so it's like 1 to 150 we can say ok on the other side We can also take a quick example for the other views, but uh, let's say we will use this to view and do the same. So now we see it can already quickly create my two or four elevation as I want. I create my 3D and I create my plan and my ceiling for this space only. And now let's start to create a quick sheet. Let's say here, create a new sheet. And we can load our sheet here. Also, before we put it in the sheet, we can check how we can put the tags and the name of this uh, space. So, also, I can use by the view tools, I can add tag to the existing view. And in this case, for the all the plan and ceiling that I already created, I can add, for example, the two magus area, room tagus area. So, I can add this tag and then. From this one, select views, yeah, okay, I'll select the views, and then, okay, add it. So I can see now we already add for me the tag in case of my ceiling or my plan. Also, we can add in the 3D tag of the room specs and the name and the area. Uh, to do this, we can open first one of the tags that's already created let's stick it by parameter so we can open it as a family room tag as we can see here this is he give me the room number the name the units where's the level where's the floor so we can load this to my project and if I come back here again and start to 
let's say in the 3D and start to view tool attack for this one and then I can add tag with area and already we can add it to the plans because you already support the 2D view not the 3D so in this case okay we can add tag for the only plans and if I come back here again I can see now he already add for me the tag for this one but in this case we need to move it a little bit so we can move it from the family itself so I can take this like that and move a little bit up and then load it yeah so I can see now he had for me the tag and the room yeah in this case maybe the kitchen didn't move the name of the space yes so we can move it here So I can see now we already add for me the level, add for me the what the parameter, what the floor. In this case, I can connect all my parameters related to the project and parameter of the project that I have and give the full data that I need in this one. So it can be editable and can be useful for the sheet as a quick. And so if we can give a quick example, we can open again. Uh, this one and uh, okay this is also some of parameters didn't move so I can move in here and we can give example for the they give me as a ceiling area if I need to change to change any text from this one, for example, for the flooring, I can by myself create label for the flooring and I can check the floor finish, for example, for this room text and then click OK. And let's say as a quick, if I add it like that, load again. And from the floor finish, if I go here in my room that I already use it, and for example, add I have a floor finish here, marble. And when I come back here to my room tag, I can see now he already add for me the finish that I added in my parameters. And so in this case, if I come back now to my sheet, it will be in this case easy to get the plans and already control with the scale later that I want. Already I have my ceiling. and also all my 3D elevation that I created for this view and also I have as a core elevations for this side and in this case just to rearrange my plans I can go here and make this scale like 100 and also let's say this one and we can come back again to my 3d view I can create like 100 also and we can back this one as a 50 and see it can be fit for my 
sheet. So if I come back again quickly. So yes, I can see now it's already. create for me all the data that I need and very easy to later arrange all my sheets and give a quick ID drawing for any space with all the data that I can add it to the parameters of my room tags and can show like in this way. So uh, I hope that you enjoy with this uh, video and make for you faster to create like a quick uh, view and elevations plans for the any place or area in your uh, project. So uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe uh, us in this uh, video on YouTube and don't forget to follow us on Instagram ar.arena.design and see you in the next video.